Breezy Bites are the subjects of today's Food for Thought. My name is Jody Bunting. This is a daily live health tip to help you lose weight. Now, I've been sent a gift for my birthday from a company called Breezy Bites. So what they are is, their idea is... <laughs> We all know what it's like. We want to make some healthy food. So we buy lots of different ingredients. We use a little bit for the recipe and end up either throwing the rest away or never using it. It just goes stale in the cupboard and then we throw it away. So Breezy Bites have come up with a protein ball pack. Okay, so what we get in here... First of all, a little note from Chris and Lydia, who own Breezy Bites. An instruction manual, some dry ingredients, some honey, and some coconut oil. So again, these, these are the ingredients, especially the coconut flour. It's really expensive and you have to buy quite a lot of it to get a good deal on it. So this is why having these select ingredients, just the amount you need, is genius. Uh, so as I said, there's an instruction card here. On the website, there's even a video how to do it. I haven't tried them. I've never made them before. So we're going to do it together, guys, here on tonight's Facebook Live. So congratulations. Your breezy box has arrived. When you're ready to get started, just follow the below steps and you'll soon be in a healthy snack heaven. Enjoy breezes. Uh, so as I said, they are chocolate protein balls. Uh, it's a new company, but they are looking at new flavours. Uh, I did look on the website and saw the Christmas one look amazing. So that is great. But we are going to make today the chocolate original protein balls. So step one, pour the contents of the dry mix in a large mixing bowl. I think this is large enough. I hope so. Uh, just to, as we go through, I will share with you the ingredients. So in here is ground almonds, organic cold pressed coconut oil, which is obviously that. Uh, wild flower honey, which is obviously this. Desiccated coconut, which is in here. Cocoa powder, which is in here. And chia seeds, which is also in here. So per calorie, per ball, there is 156 calories. Um, uh, Fibre, 2.8 grams. Protein, 3.8 grams. So they, those are the ingredients. So step one, we've got to pour this dry packet, which looks like that. So as I said, it's almond flour, chia seeds, and what else did I say? Uh, cocoa powder, okay? So we are gonna pour that. I think my bowl's big enough. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to gently mix that. Maybe I could have done with a, with a bigger bowl, okay? Right, step number two. Transfer the coconut oil into a saucepan and melt in a, over a low heat until a clear liquid. Now, because this is Facebook Live, of course I prepared this earlier. And here I have my melted coconut oil. Step number three. Pour the melted coconut oil and the honey into the mixture and mix thoroughly. So, the coconut oil is going over the dry ingredients. Done. Now, the wild flower honey. Let's open that up. Oh, look at that. Now, as I said, obviously you have honey in, obviously you have coconut oil in. Well, most of us have coconut oil in, but what we don't have is coconut flour. And as I said, uh, it is really expensive. So this is why it's good to have one of these kits. And obviously then you won't waste it if you don't like it. But also it's very specific for certain things. It's not like general flour that you can use for everything. Um, right, I'm just getting every last bit of that honey. Let me just check back on the instructions. 
uh, and mix thoroughly. So I am going to use the spoon, but I know what's coming next, guys. And you'll be pleased to know I am going to get my hands filthy in a minute because obviously I need to mix this properly. Now, obviously, you have to mix it thoroughly because you're going to make protein balls. Uh, but also you need to make sure all this mixture is going lovely together. Have you tried protein balls before, guys? A lot of companies are selling them now. Uh, even on LD by the checkouts, you'll see that they do have their own, I think they're called power balls or something like that. Um, but yeah, we want to mix this together. And obviously we're getting that honey and the uh, coconut flour all mixed together. And then basically we're just gonna crush it down into a ball. And why I do that, I will read out the rest of the instructions. So step number four, the messy bit. Using your hands, divide the mixture into 12 to 15 balls. Squeeze, pat them, and roll them into the perfect ball. And then step number five, which we'll obviously do afterwards, is pop them in the fridge to harden. Wait an hour and a half. Oh no, wait about half an hour and they'll be ready to devour. I love that word, devour. And then it also says you can put them in an airtight box and store them in the freezer for up to six months, which I would definitely advise, guys, because you're gonna have 12 balls, which are 150 calories. Now, they're gonna taste great because they've got oil in, they've got honey in, they've got cocoa in. So I really would advise to freeze these and obviously to get them out one by one, uh, preferably week by week, actually, guys. Have it as your weekly treat. Uh, if you've got enough calories to have a daily treat, then you can have a daily treat. Obviously, there's no artificial flavourings, there's no artificial sweetener. So this is the sort of thing that you could, if you want to, have every single day. Uh, I have linked the Breezy Bites Facebook page into this video. So if you would like more information uh, or you'd like to order your own, then of course the details are on the Facebook page. Now I think I've mixed that well enough. Now the reason I want to mix it well enough is obviously I like to get my hands messy and dirty, but what I don't want is to all that honey to stick to me. So I'm just making sure that I am mixing it properly. And I think it's now time, so. So I'm going to move everything to one side. Dun, dun, dun. That's going to be my finished products. And this is, funnily enough, my board for rolling is the Breezy Bites colour. Who knew that I had matching branded chopping board? Okay, so... I'm not really sure how I'm going to divide this into 12. I'm just going to have a little guess. Okay, I'm just going to grab, grab a handful. So squeeze, squeeze <laughs> and roll. So it says roll into the perfect ball. Now the good news is I can feel already that it's quite light. When I've had them before, they can be very, very, you know, almost too, you know, almost like a truffle. But I can feel just by pressing it together, that's actually quite light in a lovely way. So there is my first chocolate protein ball. So for those of you just joining our Facebook Live, we are making our own chocolate protein balls. So in this little packet over here, I got a little container of coconut oil. I got a little container of honey. And then I got a dried mixture which contained cocoa, coconut flour, and what was the other ingredient? And there was another ingredient as well, chia seeds. And obviously that's where you get the extra protein from. 
and obviously the goodness. For those of you with any gut issues, uh, that, there's another reason to enjoy chia seeds. And obviously the chia seeds are going to give it a lovely taste as well. If you've got kids, this is a great way to have a little bit of fun with them. Uh, Maureen, I can see you've commented. I will reply later. I'm sitting a little bit further away than I normally do from the camera. Um, so I am hoping this will make about 12 balls. And as I said right at the beginning, uh, the reason Breezy Bites took off is because it's all about not wasting ingredients. So if you do want to try something like this, but don't want to spend literally 20 quid, that's how much you'd have to spend to buy all these ingredients. Uh, obviously you can do them a lot cheaper by just getting as much as you need. And the good news is it's all weighed and measured out for you. So you don't even need you can see, I did this on Facebook Live. The only thing I did, not live, was just heat that uh, coconut oil up. And as the instruction says, slowly heat on a uh, pan. You could use a microwave, but holistically, uh, you're much better to use a real saucepan and heat it up that way. The good news is if you're making these in the summer, that little pot here of coconut oil, if it's room temperature, you wouldn't need to heat it at all. Because often in the summer, um, when the temperature does sometimes get warm enough here in the UK, coconut oil is actually already melted. It's a good sign that we're having a great summer when that is. Right, so you can see I am happily going along. And as I said, the, the step number five was to actually put them in the fridge, harden it up a little bit for half an hour, and that's when you can really taste it. But what we're gonna do, guys, I just wanted to show how quickly it is to make, how lovely and messy I'm getting. Who doesn't love to get messy? Okay, and then what I'm gonna do, guys, before we finish, I am going to try one. Now, as we said earlier, if they were going to go in the fridge, obviously the honey and the coconut oil would set together and that way you will get more of a firmer ball. So obviously when I break into this one, it might open up a little bit. But I'll tell you what I'll do. So we don't get any mess, I'll just down it in one. Okay. Uh, this one is a bit smaller than the, all the others. So I'm guessing this one is about 100 calories. So let's give it a try. Now there's just enough honey to give that lovely sweetness. It's definitely coconutty, right? Obviously you've got the coconut flour and you've got the coconut oil. So for me, that is absolutely divine. Guilt free, not calorie free, but guilt free. And it is full of nutrients. That's the most important thing. And obviously, if you do want to feed your kids some healthy snacks, as long as they like coconut, they would definitely love these. I'm just going to finish rolling this in the bowl. But yes, that is Breezy Bites. And the link to their Facebook page is on this video. Right guys, so I've got, I've eaten one, so that means I've got six, and you can see I've got enough mixture, I've still got half the mixture, so that will make another six. So you'll be pleased to know I didn't make my balls too big, uh, and these are the original chocolate protein balls. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I'll see you again next time.